This is the dam on Jackson Lake. And we're walking toward a little house where there is a gauging device to check how much water there is. We're up here at Jackson Lake. What's the elevation up here? Um, Jackson Lake is right at about 6,000 feet. And this is Bill Morrow, manager of the Hydro Division for Nevada Irrigation District. What's going on up here, Bill? Um, we just came up um, to check out the reservoir, um, make sure that everything is okay. Um, our snow melt is coming in on us, and um, just want to make sure that we um, the spillway is clear and we don't have any problems here. What's um, this mechanism here that goes into the um, this little building behind you? Well, there's an operator um, that goes down, and um, it's a it's a valve stem that opens and closes the um, low-level outlet valve. Plus, we have a uh, staff gauge here for giving us the elevation of the lake. Can you tell us about all the gauges that we saw there inside of the building? Yes, we have uh, two data loggers in there. Um, one logs the elevation of the reservoir. The other one logs the elevation of the creek, Jackson Creek, below. Which is right over there. Yes. <coughs> and could you tell us about the importance of keeping track of what's going on between one side and the other side? Yes. As far as our uh, dam failure early warning system, um, that information is... Um, transmitted to our Yuba Bear headquarters. and That's near Colfax? That's near Colfax, that is correct. And um, if there's a uh, problem um, that would be detected by a um, fall in the lake elevation within a short period of time with a rapid increase in the outlet elevation, um, that could be determined as a uh, possible dam failure. So, that, so that's a sign that there's something that something could be going wrong, wrong and you want to check it out? need to investigate immediately. And this is required by the Federal... Ele Energy, Fed Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Yes, FERC. Thank you very much, Bill. Okay.